um, if you're interested in AmeriCorps, if you know anybody who is, um, there's a website that they can go to, americorps.gov. Um, we also have flyers and some goodies that you guys can take if you guys would like. So. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> We're also here to answer absolutely any questions. Well, I'm wondering why we didn't know enough to invite all of the young people about the church. Obviously, you don't want us. <laughs> but you know young people. Yeah, I mean, we thought, we thought it'd be nice to just uh, have this opportunity to spread the word about who and what we are, and if it percolates yeah. down to somebody who might be interested in joining, I, that's awesome. I am interested in knowing uh, what pocket the money comes from that supports this program. Well, we're all federally funded. Yes, um, but like, what is the agency? Yeah, the, the Corporation for National and Community Service. It's uh, it's not part of the department. It's a it's a separate government corporation. It has its own budget. I think it's something like one. It's in the neighborhood of one billion dollars per year. So in the context of the federal budget, it's infinitesimal, and uh, all of our funding comes out of that. The program that we're in. Is called FEMA Corps, where we assist FEMA pretty much exclusively. We don't go out and do kind of regular NCCC projects. Um, we just work with FEMA and disasters, and FEMA provides some of the funding for, for our program in that area. Andy, can you talk about the, your projects that you've done on Long Island? Sure. Um, well, the, the reason the reason we're here is because I got to got in touch with Susie through working at the Bird Sanctuary. Um, mm -hmm. Several times, uh, one yes. <laughs> uh, A few members of my team, several, uh, several just kind of random teams, heard about this place and decided to go there and spend a day clearing uh, fallen trees, brush, other kinds of debris that would find on ice. I'm going to come up and join you <laughs> because you heard the bird sanctuary, and then they heard, "Oh, yeah. I'm Rob Alvey, and as you know, for about almost 20 years now." I've been doing a volunteer program in the community to change over a NASA county-owned stormwater basin into a community asset. Okay, we call it the Garden City Bird Sanctuary or Tanner's Pond Environmental Center or the Arboretum or Bob's Big Backyard. <laughs> and a couple of months ago, I got a phone call from the Long Island Volunteer Center and was I interested in volunteers. As you know, Hurricane Sandy hit our community very hard. It hit Long Island very hard. And then I saw an email from a couple of people, Annabelle Dunbar, a couple other ones, and it said, would you be interested in some volunteer work? But I saw something called FEMA attached to their email. Uh, as you know, I'm a federal worker. I work for the EPA. I'm in the Emergency Room Remedial Response, Response Division, ERRD. I know FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency who has helped in Katrina and some of the other areas, and I, when I emailed these people back, it turns out, well, they're here on a program, and they had nothing to do on weekends. <laughs> and they were bored, and they wanted to help out a little bit. And I said, and oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> I could certainly use it. I work full time, and you know, I'm trying to get this thing done. And as it turns out, on a cold day in January, we had 40 of these people, because they talked about being divided up into teams. Well, okay, I said, spread the word. I can use as many people as you want, as you can get down here and help out. And they really were good. Now, they really don't know what happened, but this is my there is a God story. Because they were going to start at 10 o'clock and work. And I get down there at 8 o'clock to start moving out some of the uh, tools and things that they could use. And lo and behold, on the street, there's a truck, there's a Caterpillar vehicle, there's a skid steer, there's 10 guys with chainsaws. And I go up to the truck and go, are you my FEMA you know, <laughs> volunteers? I thought they were college kids, and you guys are in your 30s and 50s. And the guy rolls down the window and says, who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> we're in Nassau County. Oh, wow. And I went, oh, hi, oh, I'm Rob Alvey. I used to work for the county. And you know what's going on here? He says. We finally got the trees, and we got the streets, and we got the coastlines done. We're required to go into the county properties now, like these stormwater basins, and cut down the damaged trees and make it safe for that. And we're here to finish up. I went, phenomenal. We wound up, I said, I got 40 volunteers coming in in about an hour and a half. 
what are you going to do and what will we do? They actually went out of their way and cut more trees down. They cut the things into smaller sections. They even couldn't bring it out to the street. That wasn't their requirement. It was just to get the stuff down to help the drainage continue. When these guys came in, there were mounds of already pre-cut materials. They're rolling out tree trunks and logs out to the street. We And then Susie wrote an article on that, four tons of fun. <laughs> okay, what they got down there. And I cooked hot dogs for them, and we did some other stuff. We made it a good day. They went on their way. And then they called. Cold day. Cold day. And then they came back, called me again, and says, you know, we're not doing anything on President's Day or this thing. Can we come back? And, you know, we'd like to do this again. I said, all right, fine. And sure enough, that was the February 10th blizzard. <laughs> so I said, don't, you know, come in here. You can't walk around with 10, 10 inches of snow on the ground. But then they came back President's Weekend. They came in about 20 of them on a Saturday. Uh, we did some more work. I, that, by now I got a little heater to cook so we could heat ourselves up that one. And then on President's Day itself, uh, I don't know who was there anymore because I'm seeing too many names, but we had about 14 or so come in on that President's Day holiday. And we got another two tons of material out. Susie cooked dinner. We had them over our house. And it was great. And then she, of course, she's the big coordinator on this stuff. She says, Andy, could you come back and yeah. give us a talk here? So I really am very much personally appreciative. And your village has really benefited by having these people here just helping us out in this one small area. In March, I gave a presentation at Hofstra University's Sustainability Conference. And it was about how volunteers and what we've been doing for the last 20 years to sustain wildlife in the suburbia. As you can see, as things have grown and developed, there's less wildlife around, but this is one of the stories about using these stormwater basins as wildlife sanctuaries. So thank you. Gotcha. Uh, yeah.